Welcome to Cartoonist Kayfabe. My name is Ed Piskor. I'm Jim Rugg. And today we're going to be taking a look at the original art for uh, for Red Room Trigger Warnings. Issue number one hits the stands um, March 9th. These are the covers. Uh, but before we do that, I want to implore you guys to like, follow, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell. Uh, hit the notification button. It it will mitigate the kayfabe effect whenever we have uh, we talk about a comic that you're interested in. It'll go pretty quick. And I actually think this Red Room comic is going to go pretty fast whenever it hits the stands because it was victim of ransomware attack at the distribution office. It was victim of the Canadian trucker stuff. Like, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes to get this comic to the sh to the shops, man. S snake bit. Oh, that's where <laughs> I come from. So uh, here are the various covers. Uh, this is the original cover that you're going to see on the stands. I really want this comic to disappear off the stands ASAP. The Jim Rugg, by way of Zap Comics Zero cover, Eddie P. Retail Incentive, and the great Peach Momoko has done her uh, Retail Incentive cover. But uh, this issue is called uh, the Rat Queens issue. And what there will be is there's three separate stories that are happening, Jim. Uh, the top tier is in color. The middle section is a video screen. So, like, on every piece of paper, if you look closely, let's see if, if we can manipulate this in some way. Uh, yeah, so you see, like, one time I went in and inked the template for a video screen, popped it in there, and then I just drew uh, the art that will go inside that so that you don't have to be redundant, you know, yes. like especially putting something out on like a monthly basis. You don't uh, want to have, as the great gorilla monsoon used to say, any no wasted movement. So uh, we have the girl's story top tier. We have the video screen, which is just a moment to moment. Uh, feature of the Rat Queens video, which yeah, becomes man, a very we're prominent. Watching, watching the video, yeah. watching the Red Room. And then we have uh, one of the main killers' stories takes place on the bottom tier. I wanted to try to like squeeze as much story as possible into a single issue of comics. I think the first issue of every wave, like, is going is going to be the story of uh, young Brianna Fairfield and Davis Fairfield. Like, I'm just finishing the writing uh, on uh, issue one of the next round. And it completes their arc. But this is a complete unit, a complete piece. And the idea is that the Rat Queens video is one of the most popular Red Room videos. And up to this point, really didn't show you guys, like, a complete video. Like, you, you see a, a couple money shots here and there. Let's let one play out and see how this guy's imagination works. When you see a shadow holding an axe as he moves in on uh, our, our characters here. You see a little wetness little puddle right there, man. And this is how you achieve your rat queens, man. You got to tie all their hair together, nuke them, like, like uh, uh, knock them out. But he's going he's gonna to wake them up rudely, Jimmy. Yes. Redrew this panel a bunch of times, man. So the final version of that is on a separate piece of paper. I just didn't like the way right. it turned out. But uh, if you could see close, like I just grid out the backgrounds. Yeah, per per perspective grids. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Uh do that in Procreate. You set it up, perspective grid, drawing assist, and just hatch in a bunch of background grids. And, and then you go in and then, you know, look, look at a photo or something and start to put, put your thing in there. So here's, here's our guide. Maybe we'll just go through the, the, the video and you could, if you have any <laughs> questions, uh, you could bring stuff up. But I feel like I really, like, started figuring some stuff out about how to draw the human figure. Like, having to draw, like, eight you know, naked, emaciated, skeletal you know, female characters over and over and over again. So the way our guy wakes up the Rat Queens is by chopping the ankle off of one of them who sits up really quickly and wakes up of the course. rest of the Rat Queens by uh, pulling pulling their hair. This bottom tier follows along after the video is completed. So they're all celebrating with our guy. Dude's got to use a straw for yeah. his wine because <laughs> right. of his mask. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they do not let him see what their identity is. So as our character with the uh, the missing limb is trying to nurse it a little bit, our guy, all of our rat queens are now officially awake and they're pissed. There are moments where the girl story and the dad story intersect. That's in slick. the various tiers, man. So this is in color mm -hmm. in the final issue, and then this is in uh, Zipatone, and then the Rat Queens is uh, duo duotone wow. duotone with white zips on top to create that 
screen effect. Yes. It, it, it should look really sharp when it's printed. It's nice to do the overlap on the same page like that. Absolutely. It really makes for a good page. Yeah, thank you. And here comes the pounce, man. This is a redrawn piece uh, for the final thing because uh, it, it looks like maybe she's stuffing money in there. Like So like upon revisiting it, uh, I'm like, that was unclear. So this panel is not in the final printed book. But here goes our Rat Queen's about to pounce. And I was really going for like I was looking at a lot a lot of McFarlane. Uh, we probably did some Spawn stuff, and I uh, was just influenced by that at the at the, at the time. There is some a good job on the twisted heads. It feels like weight. Yeah, you know, I always think thanks. about weight, but it feels like it because of the way they're twisted that that they're all tied together in that one point in pulling. In the Pentagram uh, Studios, man, here goes your sort of <laughs> what they call the cows, man, just people who are like being bred for the slaughter. But I uh, took. Like, I drew this um, sort of jail bar one time, and then I copied and pasted the template for that and put it back here Ooh, where slick. we go into a new page with the girls, and they're out at a park, and so it be, just becomes yeah. like wrought iron gate or something. And here's the fate of our first, uh, our first rat queen that got her initial um, ankle chopped off. I uh, took a look at YouTube uh, videos about field dressing deer mm -hmm. to uh, try to figure out how you would prepare human flesh for consumption. I feel like I've uh, I've, I've uh, butchered deer, and it's not quite... I, I don't think we had hooks quite like that, you but... Uh, Got to go a little Clyde Barker. Got to go a little some, Clyde. Uh, some stuff I recognize there. <laughs> So uh, this it, it's now a blood orgy. You you told me stories about like uh, chick, chicken coops and one chicken catching a little uh, a little hangnail or something, and the rest of the chickens getting feral all, all over top of them. So that kind of influenced the story a little bit. I'm so touched. <laughs> and you got hands and hands like this hand is going into something. I don't know what that orifice <laughs> is. No idea. But that that character is now that, dead weight. Yes. So. Our big guy comes in, cuts that dead weight, and happens to also cut the ankle of another. It's a big axe guy who's going to. Uh... Reminds me of Slaughterhouse's tagline, but he's got an axe to grind. A yeah. big axe. <laughs> this is probably of all of the Red Room imagery I've drawn. This to me is like one of the freakiest drawings that that I like. Just like while I was doing it, it was making me feel nervous about just like some strange. Like you're sleeping. And some stranger is in your window. It's pretty this actually happened, like, when, when I was uh, on vacation as a little kid, me and my brother, like, we woke up, and, like, we sat up, and there was, like, a skittering, like, right behind the hotel, wi like, the window of our little bedroom in this hotel, and it was, like, some pervert was, like, in the window doing something. I have no idea. That's always the gimmick of, like, old horror movies with the O'Henry twist at the end. You're putting together a puzzle, and it looks like your room. Right. <laughs> and you put together the piece with the window behind you, and there's a person in the window, and you turn and look. Yes. So the Rat Queens is continuing, man. And we have a new victim. But, like, whenever you chop the head off, now it's an opportunity to create some movement. Yeah, I like that part, with, too. With the, with the frenzy. It's kind of the, uh, the the way the problem solving works, right? Like you set up a rule, they're all connected by the hair. Yeah. And then it's kind of like, now do something and let the rule dictate what happens, which is that head flopping around. Yeah. So hard to compose around that, by the way, man, to just because like you. Yeah, I would not. Uh, I, I would not want to see the script. <laughs> Here's another uh, instance where the top story and the bottom story intersect. So the girl is going on a trip. And she goes to the backyard, the laundry room, and Dad's doing laundry. You see the smoke up there? She knocks, and she just waits. And I love these kind of things, because, like, how long is she waiting? Mm -hmm. He pops in and is like, oh, baby, like, you know, have a good trip, blah, blah, blah. You know, I love you. And then when he comes back in, he moves his washer or dryer. You see that little grate back there? He's in there. He's got, like, a shoebox, little teddy bear, and he gets butt naked. It is a great use of black. Because that that's your focal point. Right. You know, creates that... Uh, you, you see, Toth does that where it's just a rectangle and he puts one black dot and he's like, now that's your focal point. Right. That's exactly what you have there. Yeah. Call attention to the great piece. Another instance where the, the top story and bottom story intersect where, where uh, Brienne is telling, is recalling a story about uh, stalking her dad, basically. And sees her dad, like, with a hooker, goes to a motel, 
and then uh, Dad enters with the hooker. So she leaves because she's gross. She knows yes. what's happening in there. She thinks she knows. Yeah. And then here's the exit. And to me, this is like uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. If you remember the very mm-hmm. last scene, man, where he pulls out the suitcase and just leaves it on the side of the road. Like, there's things in here. Obviously. This is a great one where it's like, you think you know what's going on and it's awful. It's worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yes, yeah, sir. The blood orgy commences. Uh, and there's more dead weight, man. So he chopped off another head. And there's uh, now two heads floating around. She's stalking her dad as he's getting... Oh, this this page was earlier. This is a nice panel. I like that a lot. That feels like a... Um, it's in... I don't know. I like that kind of, that amount of detail. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but it's in color and it's so clear. Yeah. I like that there's stuff like on that window pane. Yeah. To uh, to create that, that middle ground. So she knew her dad was in there doing something. She, her dad is gone right now because she's supposed to be on a trip. And dad was supposed to be home, but he's at the cabin. And she thinks that he's with the hooker. So she knows that they were doing. He was doing something in here. They're investigating a little bit. Don't find exactly what was in the grate or whatever, but find, uh, you know, weird fetish fetish porno. I like this part of the video. The head being removed, but this time it's at the jawline. It's yeah. at the uh, halfway, like at the jaw. Yeah, yeah. It's a good choice. Yeah, just switching things up Usual a little variety. bit. Keep your viewers engaged, Jimmy. Bitch to draw. Really? This 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 guy right here. It's real hard for me to draw. I, I, Overhead shots are tough. That looks good. It doesn't look like it was labored. Like, it doesn't... I tried a lot. Yeah. Huh. See, if you didn't... You should... Um, that's Beep that part out of the video. <laughs> and then we don't know that that was a tough one to draw. So, you could tell, man, I've, I've been drawing some severed heads get whipped around for a while because, like, I wished... Like, I drew everyone, which is, mm-hmm. like, the trail of, like, movement. And to me, that's, like... That Johnny Craig. That's exactly what I cover, thought of. You know, like yes. that, that was in my mind. What's happening here? Are the girls are going to the, to Dad's cabin to like go stalk him and, and and just try to see if he's getting into any trouble. These are like our crumb breasts. <laughs> so they go to the cabin and they're like hiding in the woods. They see this U-Haul truck. We've established this U-Haul truck a lot of times in in earlier issues and things. Uh, knowing that this was going to be in color and knowing that I have stuff like Duotone and things like that at my disposal, there are trees and stuff cut yeah. in color here. Uh, you could see there's a lot of white out where, where I started putting them in in black. But then I was like, no, I could have stuff over top of the girls in black and then just communicate the trees behind the joint in color. Any way to create depth on a two-dimensional surface I'm always impressed by and that seems like a really good one. Um, it's cool to see the amount of motion that you're now getting because like think about it they're one they're going to become more animated as it goes on yeah, and now you've move. got more heads flying around yeah it's kind of cool yeah they can move more i always used to read interviews with cartoonists and they would talk about this kind of stuff like the stuff where it's like i don't care about that at all and now it's all i care about right <laughs> so so this is an interesting part of the 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 story where the u haul it's it's two different moments in time so this is the guys picking Davis up from the mm-hmm. joint to take him to go do the Rat Queens video. But this is them s- setting him up to take him back to the cabin. So it's two different stretches of time. And see, this is the past compared to that last that last piece. And they're kind of like watching that U-Haul go by like, what the fuck? I'm getting one more good one in there. And you know I was looking at like... Uh, like a, Jose Canseco yeah, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the perfect dude to look at for that. <laughs> We're getting fewer and fewer of these of these rat queens. Uh, we have a dream sequence here where Davis plucked himself with the mm-hmm. sort of neutralizing drug to put himself out. So we got a dream sequence going on here. Wow. That's some cool imagery. And it's going to be blue. Like, these lines are going to be blue. Like, you'll clearly know that it's not, you know, modern day. Well, I, I mean, if you don't know by that, like, yes. you, you're a fucking maniac. I like the open heart surgery on Davis slash Weapon X. Yes, yes. 
and the heart surgery is established earlier uh, in the in the comic. There they are looking around the um, the cabin, and she sees this look kind of like that ain't mine, you know. It's her dad's cabin. That's not mine. Chops off more heads, more dream sequence. Here's a scream. She hears a scream, comes running out, and there's like organs and stuff out there. She says, "Oh, that's daddy just cleaned out a deer, or did he? You know, or did he?" We have the last two rat queens. Here comes a dude to to sort of pick his spots. I can tell you that's that's a, a few deer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a big pile. Chops off the final head, and then here's another uh, situation. Like I did uh, some typesetting to get mm -hmm. the iPhone uh, fonts and stuff like that. So uh, you know, this is one moment in time. She's texting her dad, like, "Dad, where the fuck are you?" But but the. Uh, the phone is just on this nasty table. Buzz, buzz, buzz. He wakes up on that couch. And same shot. Picks it up and it'll be like 75 missed calls. You know, it's a forward piece of time. And then here we go, man. The money shot with the uh, the final Rat Queen. And when I got to this section, man, I remember talking to you and you were like, dude, you have to make it feel like those heads are so heavy. And how do you do that, man? You just cock that head to the side uh, I imagine that it's pulling your own hair, so you got to kind of like try to like lift that up a little bit. I'm mildly uncomfortable with the amount of uh, <laughs> feedback I, I give you on this stuff, <laughs> or the nature of the feedback, I guess. You know what, man? We'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll leave the rest of the the K favors, man. By but the book. Just wanted to show off a bunch of the pages, man. Very excited that Red Room Comics are going to be starting up again. Man, there were so many issues. Uh, we wanted this thing to come out in December, but there are paper shortages or big queues at the print facilities. And uh, thankfully, everything is clear selling at this point. should be coming out on a monthly basis. Every issue is completely done, ready to go, wrapped up in a bun. Uh, so for the forthcoming uh, next couple of issues, you know, April, May, and June, there'll be fresh Red Room comics, man. I'm, I'm working on the, the TPB artwork and design stuff right as we speak. Happy to share some of this artwork. The... The issue is in transit right now, uh, so we'll do like a more proper kind of commentary for sure later on. This uh, these heads we looked at the uh, pre code horror yeah. anthology recently, and they have a whole chapter on the uh, on the beheadings and the shrunken heads and all that stuff. And it feels like after looking at that book, this is right in place. You can just slip this right into that book. Down, down to the color choices of just like scream from the racks, man. That's right. Scream from the freaking racks. Uh, buy this book. I think that's a good note to end on. K Fabers, like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell. We'll notify you when new vids are available. It's out there, Jimmy. Hulk Grand Design, monster number one, out the same month, uh, later later in March. So tell your local comic shop you want a copy of that if you haven't already. Can we take a look at some of your original Absolutely. art and stuff whenever yes. uh, the time comes? And uh, Hulk Grand Design Madness, number one, will be out in April. So tell your tell your shop you want both of those. And uh, join me on Patreon.com slash Jim Rugg. Already said my, my spiel, man. Red Room Trigger Warning. Scoop it up March 9th. What else? Subscribe to the Cartoonist Kayfabe e-newsletter at the links below this video. You can also find Cartoonist Kayfabe t-shirts and merchandise at the links below this video. That's it, man. Give them we need to do orders. some gory-ass t-shirt, Ed. I think Show so. us all this beautiful work. I have some Let's ideas. Get some bloody shirts up there. I have some ideas, <laughs> man. Give them those marching orders so we can be on our way, Jimmy. Make more comics.